all I did then was bad practice. Everything went out the window. Someone like G Atherton, he performs best when it's all up against him. We'll go and talk to G. If I can get anything from him and tap into his way of thinking, it's going to do me a load of favours. Yeah. I'm going to go at this with everything I've got and I'm going to win the damn thing. Tell yourself that at the start, otherwise, you know, you might as well not be there. I'm Matt Jones, I'm a professional freestyle mountain bike rider and I'm attempting three world's first tricks that have never been done on a mountain bike. One being the running bomb drop backflip, which I've been training at the swimming pool. The second being a backflip onto a hitching post and adding a front flip off of the other side. And the third trick is a 720 no-hander to bar spin where today at my slope style compound, I'm gonna be working on that additional bar spin. So the 720 no-hander, I was the first in the world to do in a competition. And now more and more riders have started doing that trick. So I wanna take it to the next level and add that bar spin on the end to create a new world's first. So this is my twin brother, Jono, who you've met in the previous episodes. And he's gonna be the second pair of eyes today. We've got a big roll in, a nine foot kicker. And we're gonna blow the air back up now and see how it goes. have a little warm up. I'm not going to go straight into doing world's first tricks. Just a couple of flips, a couple of spins. Yeah, 360s, back flips. Probably only going to take two, three runs and I'll be doing sevens, I think. You like the confidence? Walking up his bouncy castle now. Oh, hard to even stand. <laughs> Are you going to hit me if I stand here? No. That was clean. So we've had a 360 no-hander, now we need to just add a whole another 360 to that, hey? And a bar spin. Easier said than done. Oh. Yeah, boy. That was a bar spin in there, wasn't it? Yep, more of that then, more of that. He's sick to watch him put in like the component parts in to make the trick that he wants to do, but it's so much to add another 360 to that 360 bar spin we've just seen. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, that one was perfect. I've got a deal for you, Jono. A deal? If I land a 720 no-hander, yep. first try, yep. you hit it on my bike and do a backflip first try. Don't think about it. Yeah, fine. Deal, here we go. You here have to land it, it though. I will, watch this now. <laughs> Get it, Matt. Oh, yes. yes! That was enormous. If you took a 720 no-hander picture out of the dictionary, it'd look something like that. So there's my bike, going to a flip. It's grand season. Come on, mate. One and done, and then it's back to me. Well, you get to wear knee pads. You don't need knee pads. you such sweaty palms. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! <laughs> I do not envy you at all. That's sick. Good work, thank you. It's all getting a little bit serious now. We've had a bit of fun. I had a little go, but I think he's actually got this world's first in his head now, and he's starting to try and create the little steps and the jigsaw pieces that come together to make this hopefully happen. Oh, well. Oh, I've fallen as well. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. That's the beauty of it. I think I'm more hurt than you. <laughs> 720 no hand. Yes! I'm going to do the same again. Seven no hander. Grab on, open up. As if you were going to throw the bar spin. Yeah, exactly. Like simulate the position. It'd be helpful if you film from the landing side because I'm pretty confident that, that as I open up, it will stop my rotation and I'll crash. Okay. Because I'm struggling with this air time. Go on, boy. Go on. Okay. Yeah. Sure you're all right? Yeah, I didn't even take my hands off. Really hit my head and it's soft. Imagine if that was a real jump. Honestly, mate, like, everything went out the window just because I was thinking about changing the trick. I was so confident when I was dropping in, thinking, 
even if I do crash, I'll be simulating the trick, but all I did then was bad practice. Should you have a little drink, yeah? Yeah. You've not gone backwards, you've just not gone forwards. We'll be good. How's your head feeling, Matt? Uh, a bit knocked about, but it's more the frustration now of the, the feet of this whole challenge. When I drop in, I feel like I've got a job to do, and then I take off and everything goes out the window. And I just can't like make it happen. It's a mental block. It's exactly a mental block, yeah. There's a time limit on this, like the Kai's down in Devon building the course. I haven't got weeks, I haven't got months. And I've just, in the last 20 minutes, hit a massive barrier. It's not too dissimilar to the downhill racing that I do. I know we're at different levels and things, but it's a sport where it comes down to one run and then everything, the whole weekend, suddenly matters. You get one chance, the pressure's against you. And there's some athletes that actually deal with that really well. And there's people like us, perhaps, that do struggle with it. Someone like G Atherton, he honestly thrives under pressure. He performs best when it's all up against him. Atherton's showing us what he's made of. Look at this. One of the most committed downhill races of all time. He's hit the ground harder than anyone I can think of, and he always gets back up. He's a man who knows how to rise for the big day. It's the same thing, isn't it? Piecing it together when it matters. Yeah, even if he's got a few tools that he uses, that he calls upon. Honestly, I'll, I'll go and, we'll go and talk to G, because if I can get anything from him and tap into his way of thinking and his focus, it's going to do me a load of favours. Hey. Yes, Matt. Yeah, mate. How you doing? How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Welcome to well. Dubby. Who's driving? I'm sort of into this project now. Kai Forte is building the course down in Devon. Who is it? Yeah. I want to do a 720 no hand to bar spin, a proper slope style trick. No way. These tricks, I'm not. I might take them to competition, but if I do them once in my whole life, I'll be happy. And that is similar to the racing, because you can spend a whole weekend doing runs down a track, but you know on that Sunday afternoon, you've got to have that confidence. And it's almost like an irrational confidence. You have to tap into what you've done before, you know, use that as a tool. Yeah, the only difference is uh, through the weekend, you get faster and faster and getting closer towards that race speed. But uh, there's some tricks where it's just all or nothing. You can't build up. It's just like running off of a platform holding your bike. Yeah, and the only way you're gonna do that is if you know that you can. Woo, look it up here, mate. Beautiful, isn't it? The mental side of things is massive. Because you're gonna have those moments where you're thinking, right, is this even possible? Yeah, that happens all the time. Sometimes I get held back by this is a world first, no one's done it, and therefore, maybe it's just impossible. A big thing is not being afraid of those negative thoughts, you know? It's the same with nerves at a race. Sometimes yeah. people get anxious that they're feeling nerves, you know? They think, I shouldn't be getting nervous, I should be confident. But you have to tell yourself that that's all part of the process, you know? You're gonna have times where you're not feeling it, you're gonna have times where you're questioning it. You're one of those people that will say, right, no one else has done this. I'm gonna be the first yeah. to do this. Yeah. And I've got the skills, and I've got the mental mindset to do it. And we know you can do that because of what you've done in the past. I just need to believe it myself. And that's it. That means a lot, mate, coming from you. Come on, Joanna, time for some laps. Show us how it's done, G. Yeah, boys. Let's do it. Wait up, boys. Oh, they're so much faster than me. All right, boys. Look at this, it's so Bit steep. Bit of a steep shoot, Matt. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Whoa, this place is mental! <laughs> I can't ride that. Is he serious? Is he okay? Are they actually serious? Is he all right, Jono? Yeah, he's just dropping in. Yeah, oh, boy! Yeah, boy! <laughs> I always thought this was an easy track. <laughs> it's well gnarly. <laughs> I told you, I said it's <laughs> drops, jumps. Yeah, but you say that with a laugh all the time. <laughs> Ready, boys? Let's go. Go that 
that way. Lovely stuff. Yeah, boys. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's sick. That track's <laughs> bloody mental. Yeah, yeah. I cool. always thought it was really easy. Fair play. Riding with G at the Atherton's very own bike park is really special, and it's taken my mind away from the project and all the tough tricks, and it's just allowed us to have like great fun riding downhill. Tomorrow, we're going over to the Red Bull Hardline venue which is an event that G and his brother Dan came up with. They wanted to build the hardest, the toughest downhill mountain bike course ever made. And yet it took G five years to win that event. So that's a prime example of the mental resilience that he possesses. And going over there to where G has had some of these challenges in the past, is just gonna wrap it up perfectly. So are we just gonna drive up right up to the course and meet him? Yeah, he's going to be up there. I, I really want to drive up to the step up that I had my big crash on because I just haven't seen it since. I watched that with my own eyes. That was a world's first and a world's last. I remember this uplift being such a daunting place because it's you're coming up here every time to be taken to the top and all you can think about is what you have to drop in and do. It's proper scary. It's steep as well. Yeah, I remember all this. It's like the steepest uplift in the world for the steepest downhill riding. Here's G. The rain is exactly sideways. <laughs> Did you see it? All right, Jay. All right, boys. Yeah, jump in the back. It's miserable out there. <laughs> Buzzing off yesterday still. Oh, yeah. Uh, what a day. We're lucky we did it in this order. Yeah, hard line is... Uh, it's hard at the best of times, but today there'd be no going near it. But it took you, we think, four years, or if not five, to win it. Yeah, it did. I had four years of being absolutely hungry for it. Like, it had been a massive event for me, like, putting everything I had into it to have it so close, you know, win qualifying say and then have it, you know, snatched away was hard. And then to have that happen again and then again yeah. and again. But after a while you think maybe I can't win hardline. Yeah. You have to find a way to be able to be confident about this year being the year. You know, you have to find a way to be able to say, right, I'm the fastest here. I know the course. I'm fit, I'm strong, my bike's good. I'm gonna go at this with everything I've got and I'm gonna win the damn thing. Yeah. And you have to be able to tell yourself that at the start. Otherwise, you know, you might as well not be there. It seems so simple when you say it. But they're, so, <laughs> no, but they're, good, they're such good points. Like, most of the ordeal and all the, these things that wake, literally wake you up at night are mm. Yeah, you need to create this kind of mental list of things you've just got to go through as like a, a process, if you like, like ticking boxes. Yeah. Uh -huh. All the things that you can control that you know you need to do to be ready for this. Yeah, the list of variables you can control is a lot shorter than the ones you can't, isn't it? But also plays a bigger part. Yeah. So if you just take care of those. They're the ones that make the difference, aren't they? Yeah. Just this big jump to Gary send it. Atherton comes down to the line. It's gonna be a home run. Atherton smashes Stodonia. Does it bring some fear back? Yeah, it does actually. It's massive, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah, on your back over there. Straight there, wasn't it? And you were stood right next to it, weren't you? Yeah, I was under, I remember looking up and seeing you just coming in. So the couple of days up in Wales have been amazing. Riding Dovey Bike Park with G was super special and really took my mind away from the project and the huge tricks. And today, checking out the hardline course, just kind of wrapped up all the points that G has been trying to get through to me and it's been so helpful and actually really inspiring hearing them come from him. A really mentally tough legend of downhill racing. I do feel that I can take those on board now. Moving forwards, the course is almost complete down in Devon. Kai's been working really hard down there and I'm at a stage now where I'm going into this like full gas. I have to really switch it on and get everything together for these tricks. And I'm insanely nervous because what's coming next is going to be really scary, really tough, but it could have massive rewards.